we're all very, very interested in what leads to a better life, what leads us to be happy, to have greater well-being, to live longer. And the funny thing is, is that our theories of what will make us happy and give us more well-being uh, aren't necessarily very accurate. So the thing that most people most of the time focus on as a way to be happier is trying to make more money. And this is uh, something that's changed over time. Over the last 50 years, we have become increasingly consumed with the idea of gaining wealth as a way to increase our well-being. The problem is, is that gaining wealth is actually not a very good way to become happier. There's lots of data that speaks to this. If you have poverty and you make more money, that helps. But if you're already middle class and you make more money, the, the benefits are very small. What does help? Social connections, spending more time with friends, friends and family. These are things that really do increase our well-being and how long we live. The thing is, the pursuit of wealth leads us to constantly be making choices about spending more time at the office and away from family and friends. So we're making these choices that end up undermining our well-being. And for myself, I had this very uh, interesting experience uh, very recently where I was offered uh, an enormous sum of money by academic scholars' standards uh, to go move to Russia for about four months a year for the next two years to go train neuroscientists over there. Uh, and I frankly became obsessed with the idea of going because I'm like everyone else. I thought, wow, this will solve all of our money problems and this will make us happier. But my family was not going to go and my family is the bedrock of my social well-being. Uh, and so when I thought deeply about this, I realized that I was going to be trading off my social well-being for more money and, uh, and I ultimately made the decision not to go. The thing is, I study this for a living. I know all these data, and it was still one of the single hardest decisions I've ever had to make in my life. And I think this speaks to just how in counterintuitive these things we're learning about the social brain are, that you know we can learn the facts and it still doesn't guide our behavior, which just speaks to the fact that given the importance and the centrality of these things in our well-being, we need to be teaching these to ourselves and our kids and future generations from when they're little so that they really know it in their guts and can make decisions that will actually benefit them and their families more than I think we tend to right now. So I think that's a hopeful message because we can learn that. We can learn those things and teach them and I, I hope that's what we end up doing pretty soon.